Well, I get up around seven, get out of bed around nine. I don't worry about nothing, no, cause words waste my time. <laughs> oh yeah, baby! Yeah! It's like I'm in the middle of it, like I'm in the middle of it. Anyway, this is the uh, uh, prediction video for the July 9th fight between Brandon Rios and Urbano and Tillion for the uh, WBA world title. And I'll break down both fighters, and then I'll give my prediction at the end. I'll start out with Brandon Rios, 27-0-0, or 1, with 20 knockouts. And uh, he's very good wins over Miguel Acosta, Anthony Peterson, Theron for the NEBF. He uh, TKO'd all of them. Uh, you know, or he was going to TKO all of them. The, the Peterson fight, you know, he kind of got himself disqualified, so he didn't get knocked out. So you can't really say that. And he's on a nine-fight uh, knockout streak. So I throw that out there, you know, uh, after the draw with Perez. He uh, TKO'd Perez in seven in the rematch, though, by the way. And he's extensive amateur career, 2004 featherweight, or United States featherweight champion. So the, the guy is steeped in boxing. And when you look at it, he's building on that extensive amateur career in the pros. And it, it's working out for him pretty well. He's big, he's very powerful for a... Uh, uh, at his weight, he's a slow, stalking, high defense, coming at you, all power shots, power jab, head to the body, hooks, right hands, everything is power with this man. Uh, he likes to work inside, he likes to set up his punches, he's best when someone stands right in front of him. Sound like somebody's about to fight? Maybe. Uh, he wins the war of attrition, he's a solid chin, he wants to war, he will be there all day long. When you look at that, he will struggle with elite boxers, um, but can they take the punishment that he dishes out? That's the thing. Acosta couldn't. You know, and Acosta is a very, very good boxer. Borderline elite. Couldn't take it. Uh, the stamina, never been 12 rounds. But this fight isn't going 12 rounds. You feel me? It's not going 12. Going over to Urbano and Tillion, he's 28-2, no draws, 20 knockouts. And you watch a couple of his fights, and you're going to notice a couple things. Uh, I mean, besides the fact he's dirty with the headbutts and hitting you with the elbows and low blows and all that stuff, you're going to notice that he is very aggressive. He does come straight forward. He applies intense pressure on you. Uh, mostly power shots, not too many jabs. However, he can throw the jab, so I don't want to take that away. He wants to win the war of attrition. Comes in, he's very open to uppercuts. He can box, but he prefers to war. Uh, he bulls in, he works the body. Leans over forward and his head comes down, which is why I say it opens up, you know, to the... That that wasn't like a plug or anything, by the way. I wasn't trying to, you know, say, hey, sponsor me here. And no, uh, I wouldn't say... It. Anyway, he uh, throws a lot of hooks, looping right hands. As I said before, and I'm going to say it again, he's open for the uppercut. A lot of straight shots get through in on him. He has a good chin, but he gets hit flush a lot. Struggles with elite boxers. Um, that can take a punch. He was knocked out by Acosta. He was losing on the cards. Well, one of the cards anyway. So two of them had it a draw, and the other guy had it for Acosta when it was in there. He lost the uh, uh, two best fighters that he's fought to, and that was Soto and Acosta. Both fights were very close. But when you look at it, ultimately, he did lose both of those fights. So when you put it all together with the way Rios fights, the way Antillion fights, I'm going with Rio, Rios by a knockout in 10. I think it'll take that while to wear him down because it's the punch that's going to land isn't going to be one that's kind of shocking, like the one that Acosta landed on, that just put him on queer right? You know, that kind of thing it isn't really going to... You're not going to see that with Rios. It's going to be a powerful, powerful pounding over 10 rounds, and eventually it's going to, he's going to succumb. So please rate, comment, subscribe, be my friend, be a Guardo's friend. You know, he, he's saying nobody likes me. That's what he keeps telling me anyway. I don't know. But, uh, so yeah, you guys have a great day, all right? It's Big Ragu. I'm out.